Welcome to Curricular Pro. Today we will be learning the ad hoc network routing protocols. In mobile ad hoc networks, nodes do not know the topology of their network, instead they have to discover it on their own, since topology in ad hoc networks is dynamic. Also routing in MAN-A is more difficult than normal networks due to non-fixed infrastructure and rapid change in topology. Therefore routing protocols should follow the following property. Number 1, they must be reliable. Number 2, they must be cost effective. Number 3, they must provide maximum throughput. Types of routing protocols. There are three types of protocols, proactive protocol, reactive and hybrid protocol. Let us see them. Number 1, proactive protocol. These are also known as table-driven routing protocols. Each node maintains a separate routing table which contains the information of routes to all the possible destination nodes. These routing tables are updated periodically as when the network topology changes. Here the route is determined in advance. Advantages Low rate latency State information Quality of service guarantee Disadvantages More overhead Periodic updation is required. It does not work well for large networks. Number 2, Reactive Routing Protocol These are also known as on-demand routing protocols. Here the route is discovered only where it is needed. The process of route discovery occurs by flooding the route request packets throughout the mobile network. It consists of two major phases namely, route discovery and route maintenance. Advantage Less overhead Require minimal routing information Disadvantages High route latency Excessive flooding can lead to network clogging. Number 3, Hybrid Routing Protocol it basically combines the advantages of both reactive and proactive protocols. These protocols are adaptive in nature and adapt according to zone and position of source. In the next video we will be learning about the destination sequence distance vector algorithm.